you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am with Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is just because the plan failed doesn't mean you will. But before I get to run my mouth, let's go ahead and do it. Shake up this manifestation chart, and then we're going to do it. Talk about it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And I pulled out two, and they are what, what, what? Multi streams of income, and we'll take that all day long. Yes, we will. And last but not least is what? More favor, and we'll take that too. Listen, y'all, listen. Just because the plan fails doesn't mean that you will. What does that mean? It means that there's nothing wrong with having a plan. The thing is, while having a plan, you just got to make sure that you're all the way aligned and connected, allowing God to lead at core, okay? The thing is, when you're not allowing God to lead and you have a plan, your mind, body, and ego will cause you to attach yourself to the plan. And then when the plan fails, for some crazy reason, you think you have failed too. Therefore, you give up, you give in, you throw in the towel. And all of that is nonsense. Why? Because when a plan fails, it doesn't mean that your dream is no longer available. It doesn't mean that the promise is no longer available. It doesn't mean that a manifestation is no longer available. It just means that plan didn't work. Because whatever God ordains to be in your life, it's going to happen whether the plan succeeds or not. And that's why you got to make sure you're all the way aligned and connected, leading at core as God. Therefore, when the plan doesn't work, you got to core say, we still on track. Yeah, we still on track to get the manifestation. Even though plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z fails, you'll know that you're still on track. Because what? God doesn't need a plan to succeed. Does anybody understand that? There's nothing wrong with having a plan. But you got to understand that the plan is not what's going to cause you to succeed. It's God at core. It's God at core. And so when you're not all the way aligned and connected, the mind, body, and ego will have you thinking that if this plan doesn't work, if plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z does not work, then the manifestation ain't going to happen. Then the promise not going to happen. Then the dream isn't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. And that's a lie. That's contrary to who you are at core. Why? Because God's word will not return back unto him born. So if God has placed something within you concerning a dream, a manifestation, a promise, it is going to come to pass. It is. So make sure if you got a plan in play right now, make sure God is leading. That way you won't attach yourself to the plan. That way you'll always know who you are. Because you already know that nothing can add to God and nothing can take away from it. But if the mind, body, and ego is leading, you will allow that plan to take away what you have. And even in saying that, that's a lie. Because the plan can never take away what God has already ordained. But he'll give you the falsehood of feeling, of thinking that the plan failed. Therefore, it took the dream. Therefore, it took the manifestation. Therefore, it took the promise away. And that's all a lie, okay? So listen, just because the plan failed doesn't mean you will. Just stay aligned and connected, knowing who you are at core, which is God, and allow that to lead. Allow who you are at core to lead. And then you'll understand that no matter what happens, you will indeed manifest. You will. You're still on track to manifest. So if you were feeling like, hey, I'm going to give up, Mm -mm. get back in line and connect it and know who you are at core. And a lot of times, sometimes it has nothing to do with plans. It could be that maybe your best friend decided we ain't going to be best friends anymore. And sometimes when they leave, it'll make you feel a falsehood of feelings that you're nobody or that you're not important or that you're not going to be able to do this because they're gone. No. When people leave, they don't take what God has implanted within you. Who God is always stands. So when things leave your life or the plans fail, you got at core and everything that came with that, it will still stand. Nobody can take it with them. Nobody, person, place, or thing can take it away. 
So regardless of what fails, you will always stand. So stay aligned and connected, continue knowing who you are, and remember, just because the plan failed doesn't mean you will. You will indeed manifest. You will receive your promises. You will receive your dreams coming true. Just stick to who you are at core. Stick to who you are at core, and that's God. I hope y'all got this thing, but if you didn't, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess with a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.